Yeah, we had Ron Paul on in the first hour. It was just amazing info. Calling the NSA liars, calling Clapper. And, of course, uh, Alexander, the head of the NSA, a liar. Very, very powerful. And then we had um, Biggs on about how scared Hastings was before they killed him. And he'd been in heavy combat with him when they were in, in famous battles with hundreds of Taliban shooting at him and warthogs blasting him and helicopters and explosions right up, you know, all around him. People getting killed and Hastings was totally calm. Hastings was scared. And, you know, I get told what Hastings said and then I'm not allowed to say it. And it puts me in danger. I mean, it's not even a, the government's listening to the phones. They know what it is. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And, 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 you know, you heard that former senior Secret Service agent who ran the Secret Service operations when Obama went overseas. I mean, that's senior going up to the top of the ranks. And the stuff he saw, he had to get out of it. And you heard him saying, folks, you are so naive if you don't know. This is a mafia criminal government bipartisan. You heard him on air. It is. So it's not some macho deal when I get up here on air and say, this is what's going on, and I'm going all the way. It's a decision you have to make. I am not living on my knees sucking boots of a bunch of thugs. And I want to tell everybody serving the evil system something. You're going to get bit in the butt by this. It, it, these tyrannies, if you study history, 100% of the time, run wild and burn everything down politically. And it's just extremely frustrating to have all the numbers and the data and to know how all this stuff works and to just realize people hear this show and they think I'm nuts half the time. And, and, and I am a little eccentric because of all the stuff I know. It's done a lot of stuff. It's done a lot of things to me. I'm just a regular guy in person. But what I say on air is not half as bad as it really is. I mean, it's, it's just... It's so unbelievable how evil the government is and just the way it is chewing through everything now and following that nightmare historical pattern that it always follows. It's, it's travel route. And I'm just sitting here watching the travel route followed right to hell. And I see a lot of people waking up, and that's good, but you just want it to wake up faster so that we don't have to go down this road. I mean, I don't even want to cover this next story that I'm going to get to when we come back from break. <sighs> but we've got to do it, and we're going to do it. Because it makes me think about all the other innocents that are crying out for help right now, crying out to God for help. And God, God tries to move the hearts of men and women to go do the right thing to protect these people. We are the hand of God, ladies and gentlemen, on this earth. We take the right direction, God will give us providence, but we are. We are the hand of God. God's hand works through us, and that's why we're in so much evil, is because um, we are evil. I am evil. I have not done enough. So that's why when I hear about new evil and stuff, I feel like I've done it. I feel like I haven't done enough. I feel like... You know, when my instinct is to go even further against these people, and am I being a coward and am I rationalizing to myself about you know, how I prosecute this war against the enemy? And the fact that I'm human and joke around and goof off and stuff, because I work too much and uh, I can be a screwball, but you can't expect somebody who's been doing this 18 years to not, not have some idiosyncratic tics. I mean, I, I just... It's like that Gnarls Barkley song. Maybe we can come back from break with it. Yeah, I was crazy. Not because I didn't know enough. It was because I knew too much. Uh, briefly, before I uh, end this segment and come back, we are listener supported by you spreading the word about the show, you name it. But also InfoWarsHealth.com has the new Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0 discounted. You can also get free shipping at InfoWarsHealth.com with the auto ship. You can sign up to be a distributor for 10 bucks and get discounts as well or just buy right off the shopping cart. InfoWarsHealth.com and your purchase there makes the whole broadcast of what we do here possible. InfoWarsHealth.com and the toll-free number uh, is also up there on the site, 888-789-9277. 
you can go to the site and uh, get the number and call as well. And they've got the new, it's, it's just the liquid form into powder, but expanded uh, beyond Osteo FX for your joints and things. The best out there. A lot of NFL players use it and rave about it. We're going to have one of them in the studio next week or maybe even Friday. Uh, but the point is, is the uh, very famous NFL player. Uh, just wait till you see who's going to be here. But uh, InfoWarsHealth.com, InfoWarsHealth.com. Eleven AM to two PM Central. Back seven o'clock weeknights with InfoWars Nightly News at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. We also have the mirror of InfoWars.com. It's not really the mirror, it has a lot of original news on it, but a lot of the same. There's a lot of stuff that goes on Prison Planet that for some reason doesn't end up on InfoWars. So be sure and visit PrisonPlanet.com as well. I put a video out uh, last night titled, Texas Town Kills Two-Year-Old Toddler Because Parents Smoked Pot. And if you watch the video, it's, 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 it's very, very clear. And I even made some notes this morning about what I wanted to say about uh, this subject uh, specifically. Who took the child away? The state. Who paid for the care of the child? The state. Who inspected the children in the home? The state. Who wouldn't give information to the father when he said she was being beat up and hurt? The state. Why was the two-year-old baby who'd never been to the hospital, never had a, been a doctor's visit to be sick, who took the little girl away from the father and mother? The state, because someone had smelled marijuana before, and so they went and visited the rest of the family, and reportedly the sister said, yeah, my brother smokes pot. And then the state came and said, oh, just give us the child, sign these papers, we'll give her back to you. Months later, that didn't happen. The poor father and mother still thought they were going to get her back. You don't get blonde-haired, blue-eyed babies back, folks. They can get a half mil for them. It's a hellish sentence for them. A lot of times they end up going to at least to a nice family, but you better hope they get out of the foster care while they're lining that up. See, first they have to terminate the parental rights. And so if the parents are fighting to get their kid back. It might take a year till they're permanently gotten rid of, the names changed or whatever, uh, or manipulated the social security numbers and then the child goes on to the next family in another state. And while they're warehoused, ladies and gentlemen, they die. And we have Justice Department's own numbers. You are seven times, even Time Magazine of all places has admitted this, more likely to get hurt or killed or abused in foster care than any other place. Does that mean there aren't some nice foster parents somewhere out there? Yes, there are. But by and large, and I, I cleaned carpets for a, for a, for a, summer and so i learned what are these places these are these are foster homes it'd be a regular house just like you see in a neighborhood but there'd be 10 kids in it living on dirty mattresses look like they're starving to death with some fat pedophile type pothead wandering around i just say that because it always seemed to smell of marijuana and you could tell these kids were not in a good place they'd always look freaked out there'd be cat piss all over the place uh and and, and I, that's why i had to quit being a, a carpet cleaner was almost like being an ambulance driver for folks I've talked to. I don't like going in trashy people's houses with their fleas, seeing their beat up kids, you name it. I mean, it's, it must be horrible to be a police officer have to see this stuff. I don't want to go in people's houses. It was disgusting. So I love going to nice fancy houses where you just move the furniture and clean it. A lot of times you'd go to a house where, you know, some dog had died locked up for a month and they were trying to sell it and they weren't going to jerk the carpet out. You'd have to clean it. See, I'm having flashbacks to that. But let's go to the Daily Mail article that came out after our article yesterday, but it got more of the photos. Let's look at this poor little victim. Two-year-old Alexandria Hill died on Wednesday, the 31st of July, two days after she was admitted to the hospital in Texas, in north of Austin, in Round Rock, suffering a serious brain injury. And she'd come for her once a week visit with her family with mildew on her, black eyes, hair falling out, beat up, begging to be with them. And boy, let's look at the troll below that for TV viewers who's been charged with, with uh, bashing her brains in. Sherry Small, man, I tell you, that's exactly what I said. The men looked like that, the women looked like that, uh, the foster parents. that I, I mean, what I saw was, was bad. And uh, 
these little kids needed love. They'd come, they could tell if you were a nice person. They'd come over and try to talk to you. God, I've just seen it all. And, and let me explain something. If you're a good family and the neighbor lies and they come and there's dog hair on the floor, your kids are gone. If, if your child falls off a jungle gym at school and there's witnesses, your kids are gone. Uh, if your child falls and busts their tooth out in the parking lot, your, your child is gone in, in many cases. And there are real social services out there for old people that I know that do good jobs. They're trying to change that with the death panels and stuff now. There are good, there, there are some good overall family people. But the CPS itself has about a 50% turnover rate each year because people get into it for the right reasons and find out how evil it is and get out. It is a federal mandate to get more kids consecutively since Clinton got the legislation passed in the mid-90s. They grab over a million one hundred thousand children a year in this country, and and hundreds and hundreds of thousands get taken away. And I've seen it. If you're in a crack den with flies and feces all over you, they're not taking you. If you've got black hair and green eyes, you could be a, a brain surgeon doctor. They're going to take your kid. Uh, raven hair, green eyes. Their the, their people pay millions for that. Blonde hair, blue eyes. The main target half a mil. Okay? I mean, babies from China are hundreds of thousands. Babies from South Korea are hundreds of thousands. I know. My sister's adopted from Korea. Okay, ladies and gentlemen? And the whole point here is this is a bigger business than drugs. And DynCorp that's on record running child kidnapping rings all over the world is the biggest CPS provider in Texas with their contractors. We haven't even looked at that yet, who she was contracted by. We know the, the front group, you know, the local group up there. So the worst place for children is in these people's hands. Let's get that straight. Now, before I play this report from tomorrow night, I want to explain something, folks. If somebody's mainlining heroin, the parents are better in almost every case statistically than in the hands of the CPS. So the police, the judges, they all know it's a racket, and they all know this, okay? And they always use the crisis to get more funds and more CPS workers to grab more kids. FEMA screws up in Katrina, they get more funds. They, did, they screwed up on purpose. I talked to the head sheriffs, people involved. They were told to stand down. FEMA came and cut the lines. They wanted that to be a screw-up. See, in America and, and under the globalist system, you screw up, you get more funds. They're all over the news raising money for CPS and saying tattle on more parents over this dead girl. They use everything they do to take more of our rights. And again, we've gone and gotten the affidavit and gone over all of it. Investigation started with a report of marijuana. Then it turned into the child being taken. People don't know when you go to have a baby, and let's say you smoked one hit of marijuana a month before, they're going to test it in your blood a lot of times falsely, and they're going to take your kid. I'll be in restaurants. I'll be at Barton Springs. This happens like every month now, and I have people going, yeah, they, they took my neighbor's kid because, uh, uh, you know, they tested her blood and didn't tell her, and they found marijuana. I mean, give me a break, folks. Marijuana is nothing compared to alcohol. I don't even smoke marijuana, okay? I have smoked it before. I don't particularly like it. The point is, I've looked at the medical info. This is the persecution. you got over 100 million Americans that smoke marijuana on average once a week. Do they all deserve to have their kids taken? Because I'll tell you what really makes me sick. On the YouTube, and, and let's actually go to the YouTube page if we can, or I can go to it. Of this video report I followed for the news last night that then got posted uh, to YouTube um, that, that, that needs to go viral. I'm going to send this back out on the Real Alex Jones Twitter. It's got 863 likes, 20 dislikes. So, 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 so people, the vast majority understand what happened. But there are trolls in there that I track back that appear to work for the state of Texas and Williamson County because I, I did profile searches under their names, under their handles. They're in there going, good, take all the potheads, kids. They deserve it. Hey, listen, you may have this culture of hating potheads because it's like the dehumanized group you get to abuse and feed on. They're a good nonviolent group to put in your slave camps to build wedges and stuff. I get that. And, and I get how corrupt Williamson County is. But this is a dead two-year-old little girl who, who was tortured pretty hardcore for months before she finally mercifully had her brains bashed out. And we're going to go ahead and show people an image of her on life support where they turned her off you know, with the uh, respirator. You people are sick. And Williamson County, with a lot of famous cases, is known nationwide as a really evil place. And they've told me years ago, if they ever catch me in the town, it's over for me. What, you think I'm scared? Go ahead and kill me.
I'm not like you. I'm not a cowardly piece of crap. This man right here. This man right here. Texas Monthly, Michael Morton. I've been covering this case for a decade before it was a big national case. They're making a big movie out of it. He was wrongly convicted in 87, and it turned out the prosecutors knew he was innocent. A father, no criminal record, wife brutally tortured, murdered. They found the bloody bandana of the known serial killer, and it turned out they even knew once the guy was in prison, he'd admitted he did it, and Kat tried to keep this man in jail. They wanted to put him in jail because he was a good guy. And now they're getting ready to indict. That was in the news. That's in my stack. Michael Morton, prosecutor, will face criminal charges for withholding evidence. Boom, there you go. By the way, the judge that did all this is still up there right now. And, th and this is going on all over the country. But let me tell you, Williamson County is like a satanic boss hog area. You got a bunch of naive snowbirds and people there. And then you got a wicked government, folks. So I recommend you no know one go there or get near it. It's literally more door to the north. And Austin's got problems. But I mean, let me tell you something. Cops, you took a little girl. I don't care how much flack you throw up. Oh, and the CPS is like, well, they asked for our help. What, once you came and said, we're going to help you sign these forms, and then they took the girl? They always try, try that PSYOP, too, dealing with these liars. Let's go to my little report on this. And, and we're all to blame, not just the people in Williamson County, all of us for letting this evil go on. That is the child protective racket. Let's go to the video. Imagine you're a happy family living in Central Texas in a suburb of Austin, Round Rock. And one night you decide to smoke some marijuana after your two-year-old daughter's gone to bed while you watch a movie. Something over 100 million Americans are estimated to do every single week. A good secret police neighbor smells the marijuana, calls the police, and they come with the CPS and take your two-year-old happy daughter who'd never been in the hospital, and never been sick, and never been beaten up. You go for weekly visits with your daughter, and she's dirty, she's confused, uh, she has black eyes, bruises, mold is growing on her body and her clothing. You go to the state and say, she's being abused, help her, and they laugh at you. And a month later, you get the call, she's on life support, her head has been caved in. Two days later, they take her off life support, and she dies. Another victim of this tyrannical government that we have that is incentivizing the states to seize as many children as they can. Over a million of them a year. The Justice Department's own numbers show the horrific facts. The most dangerous place a child can be is in state custody. Little Alexandria Hill or Alex as she was known, will never get to grow up and be part of the spelling bee at school or the swim team or softball. She'll never get to go to college and meet the man of her dreams and have her own children and grandchildren. She's dead. Another casualty of this sick society we have that has the largest prison population in the world. Every authoritarian state throughout history has been obsessed with attacking the family and seizing children from their parents. Nazi Germany, Soviet Russia, Maoist China. But they never did it on the scale that we see here in the United States. And every day I see cases in Texas alone where people's children are taken for the most petty of reasons and end up dead, raped, tortured, killed, their heads caved in. The children disappear routinely and end up overseas in snuff films and pornography. Our children are one of the favored commodities of the criminals that run our government. And the people that are in control of Williamson County, Texas, are famous for their abuse of the innocent and famous for their abuse of children that they've kidnapped from their parents. And I want to say something to the child predators in the police department in Williamson County and other areas in the United States. When we take America back, and we will, you will be tried for your crimes against humanity. You want to now charge one of the foster parents for supposedly caving this little girl's head in? 
you are just as guilty knowing how hellish those facilities and those homes are where they warehouse kids for money. You know statistically there are more pedophiles and more abusers who literally torture those children within inches of their life and that the state covers it up because it's part of a sick racket. And you need to know that it's all on your head, just like all the other cases in Williamson County where they've known people were innocent and known who killed people's wives and children and done nothing to prosecute the real criminals and gone after innocent people, you will be charged for that crime as well. And those charges are now forthcoming. And you will be brought to justice in Williamson County and everywhere else for the crimes you've committed. Your tyranny can go on for a long time, but sooner or later, God is gonna cut you down. You shouldn't fear Alex Jones, and you shouldn't even fear the American people. You should fear God because God is real, and God is the law. You will be held in judgment for what you've done. All of you, the judges, the police, you are all accomplices in aiding and abetting the torturous death of children in Williamson County and across the United States and places like North Korea where they take families, children as well, for collectivization into the state. For those of you who have only been passively involved in the industry that is the abuse of children at the hands of the state in this country, there's still time for you to admit the facts and go public and speak out against this evil and turn the tide. I will forgive you, the parents of the abused and dead children will forgive you, and most importantly, the creator of the universe will forgive you. And yes, even little Alexandria Hill, who is beyond your wicked grasp, will forgive you as well. Join humanity and let us stop the modern slave trade in children that is taking place in this country. And finally, all of you out there watching, there are children being kidnapped for the pettiest of reasons in your town and in your city. Become an advocate for those families. Volunteer to expose the incredible miscarriage of justice where a Stasi spy neighbor smells marijuana and a month and a half later a little girl's head is bashed in. Did that family deserve to have their daughter killed in state custody because they smoked pot? Is that really land of the free, home of the brave? Or is it really a system designed to capture nonviolent, non-criminal people in a parasitic system? I'm Alex Jones signing off for Infowars.com. All right. We're going to go to break and come back with some breaking news on mass Obama protest. Now you can watch the Infowars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at Infowars.com forward slash show. Right. You know, the first I heard of this, uh, and, and the story's up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, Texas-wide united we stand. That's just the Texas chapter. Uh, Chris Alanis, uh, again today, driving, and uh, one, of, uh, one of the producers of the radio show, and just said there's these big banners of people all over the highways, 183, uh, uh, I-35, we can roll for TV viewers some of that B-roll uh, of uh, what our reporters just went out and shot, and, and now we've got reports coming in of 1,700 people on the overpasses in places like Los Angeles. Uh, and uh, again, just people all over uh, the country uh, going out there, uh, you know, nonpartisan, saying Obama, the NSA, uh, has been violating our rights uh, and that the American people are going to stand up against this. Very, very exciting. And again, when Alan E. saw it, he saw big crowds out. The particular one we went and found only had a few folks out there that, that uh, you know, were basically protesting against it. But we're going to get compiled from all over the country for the nightly news tonight, the fact that this is happening. And one person holding up banners on an overpass will reach thousands of people, uh, potentially. And then when the news covers it all over the nation, it will be the idea of a nationwide movement. And the media is starting to pick up on it uh, with signs like, don't spy on us. 
uh, and you know, impeach Obama over Benghazi. And I just saw uh, Gigi in the hall. She said they've got the report coming up tonight, 1,700 uh, in Los Angeles. And, and again, these are all over the city of Austin. What we're showing you is just spontaneous groups from the Internet going out there uh, and saying uh, uh, impeach Obama. And people can say, well, why are you making it all about Obama? Because he's the front guy for the whole agenda, ladies and gentlemen. And if you can punish him, all the other rats and criminals that are under him will start running. But they're emboldened right now. They're like, we'll take your kids for no reason if we want. We'll, we'll give you forced inoculations if we want. We'll set up internal checkpoints if we want. We'll, you know, just on and on and on and on. We'll give $85 billion a month to foreign banks and tell Congress they can't find out. And we'll put the military under NATO command. And we'll, down the line, they're getting away with all of it. We've got to start pushing back. That's why they tried free speech zones and intimidation and all this. The answer to that is go out and protest more. And it's time for libertarians, conservatives, real peace activists, real liberals who aren't authoritarian communists calling themselves the left to go out and demonstrate against this. Yeah, there it is. Over 200 impeach Obama overpass rally scheduled. Uh, and that was, um, this is just kicking off. Uh, they're going to do more tomorrow. And, and look, you can do it on your own website. You can go organize your own protest. Get on Facebook, get on Twitter. People are angry and say, uh, who knows? We didn't even send reporters down to the Texas Capitol. Um, 4.30 today at the Texas Capitol. It's now been spontaneously announced. Where is that going to be? Okay. Oh, with the overpasses again everywhere in Austin, they're going to be doing it. Okay. I think the Capitol's important too. And call the press. Let them know you're out there. That's how you hijack the media, ladies and gentlemen. And will this save the world? No, but resistance will. This will start the ball rolling that we're not going to go along with this and we're going to use the Internet as a system to force the corporate state-run media to understand that we're fully aware of what they are up to and of what they are doing. This is historical. Again, I want to encourage everybody out there to also support platforms like this that is one of the biggest and most important liberty platforms out there. If you're not a prisonplanet.tv, infowarsnews.com, nightly news subscriber to see the news, live, the films, all the specials, please become a member today. It helps fund our operation, but more importantly, you get 11 memberships. 11 people can use your username and passcode simultaneously. So you can share it with friends and family. And if you have a PrisonPlanet.tv membership, tell folks to tune in tonight, 7 o'clock, for the InfoWars Nightly News. We'll have more on this whole Obama situation. PrisonPlanet.tv. Become a subscriber today or share your subscription today. Do it today. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at InfoWars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.